Guys, look at this. Optimum Idol Pearl. But before we get started, if you like this jersey, I got a couple new styles that I just made right before nationals. Um, head to zalagear.com, enter my promo code STRIKEWITHJOSH for 10% off discount at checkout. And guys, we are so close to 10,000 subscribers, so please, it's free for you guys. Just hit that subscribe button and, and like for the algorithm, if you know what I mean. And we will be giving away a signed bowling ball at 10,000 subscribers, so. There's an incentive, so just tell your friends. It's got a quite bright shelf appeal. Looks like it's got that purple from the Optimum Idol Solid, and they just added some, some pink. I like it, I'm digging it. I like the colors. It looks really cool going down the lane, too. Now we got Barney Meets Pink 2.0 Optimum Idol Pearl. Bowling on our typical house shot here, uh, 42 feet, 24 mils. Got behind it on that one. Did you see that one? Oh, come on. AI core trip four. Oh, wow. Oh, that ball just carries everything. If you're worried about a pearl ball being too slimy, this Optum Idol Pro, you can hear it. It comes very tacky out of the box. It's good for me two-handed because I can get grip on my left hand. And we will take that. So now let's compare the Optimum Idol Pearl to the Optimum Idol Solid or Original, however you want to call it. That Optimum Idol Solid is much smoother and earlier than the Optimum Idol Pearl. Um, but you can see the difference between the two. Um, I was actually a little bit more right with the Optimum Idol Solid than I was with the Optimum Idol Pearl. And I believe just, that's just because the Optimum Idol Solid, uh, it wanted to read a little bit earlier um, and it didn't store as much energy as the Optimum Idol Pearl did. Uh, so the Optimum Idol Pearl forced me more left and I could open up my angles a little bit more and I recovered a lot stronger. Let's compare it to a ball that's similar to the Optimum Idol Pearl as far as like core numbers, characteristics, and cover stock. So I got a Summit Peak here. Let's see the difference. You can see that the Summit Peak versus the Optimum Idol Pearl, um, I feel the Summit Peak's a little bit smoother. The Optimum Idol Pearl um, hooked a little bit harder, um, transitioned a little bit faster, um, but the differences are so slight. So if you wanna create an arsenal with the Summit Peak 
and the Optimum Idle Pearl, I would probably recommend changing the surface on one of them to give you a little bit of a different shape. So let's talk specs on the Optimum Idle Pearl. This ball features Microtrax. Microtrax is a nanoparticle. Uh, the same cover, stock, the same cover stock formulation was found in the exotic gem. So we're gonna get a ball with a bigger cover stock footprint that's gonna wanna dig into the lane, um, create more traction, and using the same Optimum Idle core inside the Icon core with the AI core technology. The core numbers on this is 2.47.056 differential. So we got a low RG and a high differential symmetrical pearl ball. This ball does come at a reactor gloss finish um, and it is pretty tacky. Um, so it looks nice. Has great, great shelf appeal, shiny. And so uh, let's dive deep and uh, talk more about how this bowling ball reacts. Optimum Idle Pearl. Um, it's gonna be a great ball when I see my Optimum Idle Solid um, kinda just quitting on me and going flat 10. When I feel like the Optimum Idle Solid is, is reading a little too early because the fronts are going, or even after urethane, the Optimum Idle Pro will be really good because you're gonna be able to move a little bit more left where you were with the Optimum Idle Solid, be able to get the ball more right, and the ball will still shape back and store up a lot of energy, and it won't quit when it goes through the pins. For me, just barely starting the bowl two-handed, um, even though the cover stock is very strong and wanted to create a lot of friction, um, it was still pretty easy for me to get the ball down lane. The reactor gloss finish helped it get to my break point and it didn't really flip entirely too hard where I couldn't control it. It still was a nice controllable, continuous motion. So let's talk where the Optimum Idle Pearl would fit in my six ball arsenal. So we'll start from the top. In the top, I got the original gem. Right underneath that, I got the Optimum Idle Solid. Then I got the Optimum Idle Pearl. Right below that, I would have the Duo. And then a step below that, I would have the Hustle. And then right below that, I would have my Urethane or my Spare Ball. And that would complete my six ball arsenal. And that's kind of where the Optimum Idle Pearl fits for me. All right, that wraps up this video on the Optimum Idle Pearl. Guys, comment down below, what do you think of the colors of the Optimum Idle Pearl? And also, what do you think of the overall ball motion? I mean, this is the first idol that we've, we're gonna see with the uh, micro tracks in it with those nanoparticles. Um, it's never been done on an idle, idle ball on stateside. They think they've done it overseas, but they haven't done it here in the States. But yeah, let me know. What do you think down in the comments? Also, do you, are you a fan of the, of the idol line? Because I am. See you guys next time. Yeah. 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 Back and I'm better than ever. I think I got a vendetta. Oh, now they call me, I seen them. All of those times getting severed. I told them all I can let up. They ain't not tired of me never. Give me a shot and I oof. I swear I shoot like Berettas. Yeah. Yeah. They getting nervous, I seen it. What I seen, you wouldn't believe.